One thing that can be lost in an online environment is the ability to browse the stacks of a library's physical book collection. Fortunately, the library's quick search or catalog has a virtual browse feature that allows you to see where a book would be shelved in the context of the book surrounding it in call number order. This three minute tutorial will walk you through two ways to use this feature. One way to explore the virtual bookshelves is to start with a keyword search, then select a physical book and see what is located close by. From the library's homepage, enter an author, title, topic, or in this case, an artist, into the quick search box. Once I get my search results for Carrie Mae Weems, I'm going to tweak my results by selecting Books Physical under Format. The virtual browse feature does not include our ebook collection, so you would need to rely on keyword searching for ebooks. From the updated results, I'm going to select the third title, Bearing Witness, because I'm interested in seeing what other books the library has featuring African American artists. Before I look at the virtual shelf, I'm going to make note of the call number, in this case, N6538, and then the subjects that might be useful for future keyword searching. I'm now navigating down to the virtual browse section, and when I click on previous, I see that this is close to the beginning of the section on African American artists, and it is preceded by books on Latin American art. When I click on next, I see that there are dozens of books on this and related topics. The virtual browse allows you to click on more than 10 sections in both directions. Another way to explore the shelves virtually is by browsing rather than searching. I have most often use this method when I have a call number like the one I copied from the previous book. Once you're in the quick search, click on the three dots in the top menu, then select browse search. I'm going to choose call number from the drop down menu and then paste the call number from earlier. If you have a book from the collection with you, you could enter the first letter and number combination from the Library of Congress call number on the spine of the book. I now see that this call number includes books on Native American art, Asian American art, Latinx art, before getting to African American art. I'm going to click on this 2006 book about Asian American art and then click directly to the virtual browse. I can now see what would be shelved before this call number before moving forward into the area with which we're now a little more familiar. These are just a couple of ways to explore the library's physical collection. Don't hesitate to reach out to the friendly library staff with any questions. You can find a number of ways to contact us by navigating back to the library's homepage and selecting help from the top menu. From there, you can chat with us during business hours, call us, or schedule an appointment. Good luck exploring your topic, and don't be a stranger.